I'm going to show you today is how to make your own timer and how to make multiple timers off of this method, okay? And there was a reason why um, I had done this in the first place. So, again, this might be a, a perfect use case for you guys out there. If you're interested, stick around and you'll hopefully learn something in five minutes, guys. Okay, five minutes. All right, guys, so we have our base installation of OBS. We're going to go make a couple scenes. We're going to create our timer. Show you guys how to do it. So over here in our little scenes uh, area, uh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say, make another scene. We're going to call this Tiny. Oh, how about Tiny? Here we go. I'm going to name it Tiny. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to add uh, a quick source. And this is just going to be, uh, here we go. We're just going to say text. Okay. Uh, this is going to be first text. This is going to be uh, timer one. Text one. Okay. This is pretty much, uh, we're gonna just gonna, this can be anything you can think of. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I'm gonna simply say no for right now, okay? All right. Now we'll come back to these um, if we want to add some effects and some stuff like that after the fact. But let's go ahead and let's just create our first element, okay? So this is gonna be our timer text one, okay? Let's see right there. All right, now we're gonna come over here. Now let's just make sure it's selected. All right. Come over here to tools. And tools gonna go to scripts. In scripts, you see right now it's it's currently empty. Okay. And come over to here to add. All right. All right. So when you hit the add, it's gonna it's gonna direct you right to the uh, right to the directory where the where the proper scripts are gonna be located. Okay. Now this is gonna be important later. Um, well, here very shortly, I guess. Um, what I'm about to what we're about to, to 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 not only do but discuss. Okay. So here we go. So we have our countdown timer. So we have a countdown timer. Um, it, it it's got you know a L L U A file extension. Um, We'll simply click on that and we, yeah we'll keep it with that and the text the text source will say this is again very important the text source is the uh what we just named so that's timer one text one okay close and here we go all right so we've essentially made our first uh timer element make this another timer right all right now uh we can't now for say like we can't just say because that's that element right there okay now can we load another one let's say can we load there's no more can we load another countdown it won't let us do it there's only there's only you can only do one go back to our web browser now what what we're going to be able to do and this is Super simple, guys. Okay, so we'll just simply click on this. Save this as. Now, what I suggest is you just find a directory that you want to save your scripts in. You're not only you're not going to be allowed to save your scripts inside of that. Uh, OBS program directory. Um, it don't matter. Just create any kind of directory, you know, wherever you want. I'm going to just put this for right now. I'm going to just slap this in downloads. I'm just going to call this Joe Countdown extension. We're going to give it the same LUA extension. All right. Now, now if we look on our downloads now, we have we have that countdown, so the Joe countdown, all UA files there. All right. OBS now. Go back to tools. I'm going to scripts. Import a new one now. All right. There you go. All right. All right. So there you go. What all, all you have to do is just assign it 
Again, so so here's here's our two options now. Remember, so we're selected on our Joe countdown. We inputted that. We're gonna select our timer two. Okay, all right. Now we have two timer elements that are total independent of each other that can be used on the same scene. You know, you don't have to green screen it out. You don't have to, to, to do any other, uh, no other filtering or nothing like that, nothing like that too. You know, uh, again, now you can go back in here, you can put uh, uh, an image element. So say we want an image, let's go grab an image, I guess real quick. We have an animated time element for our scene. That easy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, stay tuned for more Joe's Fast Five, guys. And thank you again for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Stay safe. Up.